Hello students, we know coagulation means aggregation of particles. Aggregation of particles to form a precipitate is known as coagulation. We know colloidal particles are similarly charged, either all particles are positively charged or all particles are negatively charged. Similar charge keeps them separate, so they form a colloidal solution. But by somehow if they lose their charge, what will happen? They will, they will coagulate or that means they will get they will form aggregates and precipitate this precipitation or coagulation can be carried out by adding an electrolyte to the to a solution now this is given by whether all electrolytes are having the same power of coagulating or different that is given by hardy scholes rule then this hardy scholes rule says that the quantity of the electrolyte which is required to coagulate a definite amount of a colloidal solution depends on the valency of the coagulating ion. Then coagulating power depends upon valency of a coagulating ion. Greater the valency of the coagulating or coagulating ions are also known as flocculating ions. So greater is its power to bring about coagulation. For example, a positive ion can coagulate a negative colloid. Similarly, a negative ion can coagulate a positive colloid. Therefore, higher the valency of the ion, higher is the coagulating power. For example, aluminum, sodium and barium, they have the coagulating power because aluminum valency is 3 plus, therefore aluminum has the highest coagulating power, then barium, then sodium. Similarly, coagulating power of negative ions or anions, chloride, phosphate and sulphate are phosphate, highest, highest valency 3 minus, therefore highest coagulating power, then sulphate, then chloride. Hope you understand. Thank you.